Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I've got some very good Black Ops 3 gameplay to show off, and I'm going to be showing off the Vesper SMG because this is an awesome submachine gun that I feel a lot of people are overlooking. I want to show it a little bit of love here today because as of right now, this is my favorite submachine gun in Call of Duty Black Ops 3, and if I sort by kill-death ratio, I think this might be my highest KDR weapon in the game. Everybody says the CUDA is good, and to be fair, the CUDA is really good. I've heard a little bit OP from time to time. Uh, it's definitely the favorite, the most popular amongst pros. A lot of people like the Weave and some people have been saying that the Razorback SMG is overpowered. I personally didn't like it because the damage was kind of garbage, but it is very accurate, it's very easy to use, and I can see how people would say that. However, the Vesper is just as good, if not better, than all of those weapons. This is just excellent. It's a very, very high fire rate SMG, if you haven't noticed right off the bat here. I measured it using gameplay clips, and now hand measuring is a little bit wonky, and it is a beta, but I got it shooting at about 1100 RPM. SMGs and Call of Duty games typically shoot about 700 or really fast ones about 900. This one's shooting about 1100, which puts it right in line with the Black Ops 2 Scorpion rate of fire, which is extremely fast, by the way, and it has surprisingly good damage. The damage isn't perfect, mind you. It does drop off at ranges and it does take some shots to kill, but it's not garbage. A lot of times you find like, oh man, this gun's got like a really high rate of fire. It's probably a pea shooter. Nope, this one is definitely not a pea shooter. This is an absolute melt machine. I tried really hard to measure if it was a three shot to kill or a four shot to kill and they couldn't quite figure that out because again I've only got gameplay here I'm trying to count hit markers and I don't have anybody to test with because we don't have private matches and all that kind of stuff but it's either three or four and don't worry about it you really won't notice because it kills super super quickly the high rate of fire makes it very easy to hit fire with that's another great thing about it now I don't run it with laser sight I run with quick draw because I like to ADS but the laser sight would make the hip fire great and it has much better recoil than you would expect. Again, a gun that has, you know, really high fire rate, you would expect to have really garbage recoil. I'm not sure if that was the whole team. If that wasn't the whole team, that was at least four out of five of them. But I'm going for my big streaks here, running a little bit low on ammo, and you're going to get to see some really good gameplay if you stick with this one. But yeah, the recoil is very easy to control. Hip fires pretty easy to control. I just thought this thing would kick like a mule, but it doesn't. It's just easy, and the iron sights are good. I think they're good. They're a little bit clustered together, but the force sight is low and not very obstructive. I have no, <laughs> no ammo left in my CUDA, but I want that streak. I'm one kill away from getting my highest streak that I've unlocked, which is the guard unit. No need to use the combat focus, because it's just one kill. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Punch, and you're dead. There we go. I got my guard unit. I'm going to go ahead and call that in. I'm gonna, I just want to show off a little bit of guard unit gameplay because I don't think there's been a whole lot of that on YouTube. It does have some downsides. As, as you've noticed, I have no bullets left. It does run out of ammo very, very quickly because you've only got 30 rounds in the mag and it's going to dump your whole mag in seconds, literally seconds. And it's kind of garbage at long ranges. No, I mean, it has the accuracy to do well at long range. It just doesn't have the damage. It is ultimately a pea shooter at long ranges. But I'd like to point out, it's only at very long ranges that it becomes a pea shooter. Even medium range, it's still a very high performance weapon. And I can outgun the crap out of AR users with this thing. And I feel like I'm trying to convert you to the church of the Vesper. And a little bit I am. I just think this one is awesome and could use a little bit of love. I, a lot of people make fun of Mormons or Jehovah's Witnesses for going out and trying to proselytize people. But, you know, mad props to them. That's not an easy thing to do. It's socially awkward. I did door-to-door -door Satanism in college as part of a psychology experiment. And let me tell you, uh, people's responses to religion are just not very great these days. Then again, I was doing it in the rural south. Guys, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out. Hey, guys. Drifter here. Today, I've got some Black Ops 3 Gata... Gata Bane play... Beta Egg... Mother of God. Ada Bameclay? What in the world am I talking about?